So you want to be a travel agent in 2023, you have found the right video. Today on the show, we're going to be covering everything that you need to do and think about before you take that first step to become a travel agent and also how to avoid all of the pitfalls that can happen. We don't want those to happen to you. So stay tuned. That's what we're going to be doing on today's show. That sounds like fun. Keep on watching. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell right here on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you learn how to become a travel agent or how to grow your travel business, and I certainly don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, type a little I'm new below so I can welcome you to our community. I'm so glad that you found us. This is the number one channel for travel agent education, and you guys helped us with that. We, we took that this year. In fact, we just won a huge award from uh, Travel Weekly, a Magellan Award for number one influencer in the travel industry. What? What's happening? That was not my goal, but you guys have really uh, helped us do that. So I'm, I'm so thrilled and thank you for that honor. Um, and if you are new, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I started in the travel industry way back. 1993 is when I started travel school, started my career in 94, and we're celebrating 30 years going in 2023, which is just crazy. But everything that we teach you here on the channel is either vetted through my own uh, agency, which is an award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, um, or in the hundreds and hundreds of clients that we have helped become travel agents through our new agent certification process and our experienced agent certification process and even our agency owner certification process. So everything that you learn here has been vetted in those places, which is great. And there couldn't be a better time to think about becoming a travel agent. This is so exciting. And I want you to consider this my holiday gift to you. This is going to be so much great content, especially if you've been in this thinking about it phase and you're like, should I do it? Is this year the year? I know at the end of uh, the year, everyone starts thinking about what do I really want from my life next year? And like, maybe this is the year I'm really going to take that big step. I can relate to that a hundred percent because for so many years I sat on my dream or I worked for other people and I was just ready, so ready when I took my travel business to the next level. And so I'm so excited that you're thinking about it. So I'm going to walk through a couple steps for you guys on things that are really important that you do at the beginning of your journey because how you set up and the decisions that you make at the very beginning can make or break you and also can set you up for really amazing short and long-term success or you could have an amazing short-term success but then mess yourself up for the long-term, which we don't want either. So let me walk you through a couple steps. The first thing I want you to do, if you are even thinking about getting into this industry before you uh, get too excited and you make a wrong decision, <laughs> go get this masterclass. This is a more in depth than today's session. This is gonna walk you through, it's an hour session orienting you in the travel industry, what you need to know, walking you through what does it mean to be a travel agent? What are the different paths? I do not hire travel agents. So there's nothing in here that's going to try to get you to work for me or have a sales pitch or anything like that. It literally is just teaching you because I've dealt with the worst stories on the back end when people mess everything up and then they come to me and they're like, I still love travel, but can you help me fix everything? And we've had to fix it. And it is way harder for me to consult with someone to fix fix something that is really, really broken and get it into a place where it's then profitable and operational than it is just to do it right from the beginning. And I also want to say, getting into the industry, the same path is not might not be right for you that is right for someone else. There are different paths for getting into the industry. There are also not a lot of places out in this marketing world that we live in where people are giving you advice that is in your best interest, right? I have no, uh, I have no wins if you become a travel agent with this place versus that place or do it on your own or whatever the case is. I have no financial investment in that. So all of the advice that I put together on here was literally out of my consulting uh, practice of like, I don't want this to happen to people through the process as they grow, as they start, all of those things. So get the masterclass. It will save you so much time. It also goes through monetizing, thinking about the different setups, what might be right for you. So that will really help you kind of get clear on that and also encourages you to think about your goals. And that brings me to my next point. 
I want you to be clear on why are you doing this? So are you doing it because you're passionate about travel and you wanna make this your full-time livelihood? Awesome, that's a goal, let's write it down. Are you getting into it because you want a really robust hobby that you can do in addition to your full-time job that maybe it gives you healthcare so you don't wanna leave your full-time job? That's awesome too, write that down, that's a goal. But what I'm getting at here is I want you to be crystal clear about your goals. When I really decided to make the decision to get my, my travel business out of hobby state and really do it in a big way, I was very clear on my goals. I wanted to build a business structure where I could put my business around my family life. I wanted complete 100% control over my schedule. I wanted to work when I wanted to work and I'm a hard worker. I didn't have to worry about when I was gonna get hours in, but it was more about the fact of I wanted freedom over my schedule. I didn't wanna work for people anymore and I wanted to get into this place of independence that we are now. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with my story, I have run uh, multiple six and seven figure businesses for over a decade and my travel business, that's all we do. I don't have another job, right? So I have our travel business, which is the agency and also of course, careers on vacation. But point being is I was able to build that up to a level where my husband now works with me full time. We're able to travel when we want. Everything that we do is around the business, but we've, we've done that in a very strategic way and it all started with what was our initial goal. Our goal was to get out of this corporate system, have our own thing. And um, so no one, you know, no one has control over our life, or our schedule. And that's been a beautiful thing. So that was my why. I want you to think about what is your why and what are your goals. And, and the reason I say that is because my next thing is, if you're thinking about being a travel agent, you need to ask yourself this question and be real with yourself. Are you passionate about travel? I have a lot of people that come to me and go, Cindy, I've seen that you've helped all of these people create these amazing businesses, they're all doing this cool stuff. I just wanna do it as another revenue stream. And they're like, I don't really care about travel, I just wanna set it up and I want it to work on autopilot. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not, while you can set up a lot that is autopilot in your business and you can put systems and processes and people in place, all of that is doable. And yes, you can be a CEO versus being in the front line. All of those are things that you can do. But unless you have that passion for travel, I, it might not be the right fit for you. And I'm, my, my whole goal in life is to help people find their bliss to abundance, right? It's the name of my podcast, if you don't already, if you're not familiar with that. But I really, in my heart of hearts, if it's not travel, what is the thing you're passionate about? Go do that. So if you're totally passionate about travel, you're like, this is my jam, this is what I wanna do, then lean into it. If not, I would rather you reflect and ask yourself, you know what, I've always wanted to go to culinary school, I've always wanted to be a chef. Go do that. Like life is too short. Why are you not running towards your goals like your hair is on fire? So if travel is your thing, then forge ahead. If it's not, take a minute and take, take a deep breath. I know a lot of people get really excited thinking about using the travel benefits or all the perks and all the upside of the industry, but the reality is there's a lot of learning that has to happen. There's a lot of little pieces that need to happen in order for you to be a successful travel agent and then for you to scale a successful business. So having that passion for travel is what keeps you motivated through this process and through that duration of, of starting. All right, what do you need to do next? Once you've educated yourself, you've gone through the masterclass, you've gotten clear on your goals, what do you need to do next? I really want to encourage you to earn a certification. This is so important. Pre-COVID days, post-COVID days are a different world. Being a travel agent in today's environment is more complicated than you think it is. And you have two jobs to do if you continue on this path. You need to learn how to be an amazing travel agent and you need to learn how to run your business and make your business relevant in an online space. Those are two totally different skill sets and two things that you have to be great at in order for those things to come together to have a robust business that you can do full time and, and have full independence, right? Or even if you want a robust hobby, having those two things in line. So I bring that up because a lot of people will get in and they'll, they'll go, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go or I'm just gonna DIY it, right? That is a recipe for disaster. And listen, I love you no matter what path you take. I still want you to get into the industry. But again, it is so like a, a, when you land on my doorstep, I have two types of people that land on our doorstep at Careers on Vacation and our whole team, you know, rallies around them to help them. 
We have the brand new person that's like, I just want to do it the right way from the beginning. I don't want to mess anything up. Give me the roadmap, like teach me the exact thing of what I need to just do it right the first time. So I don't waste time. I don't waste energy and I don't waste extra money. I just want to be get to the success faster. Then I have the person that goes, oh, you know, I think I can figure it out. Let me try it out. Let me try some different things and see how it goes. And then if I need careers on vacation or I need Cindy or I need someone, and again, you don't have to use us. You can use whoever feels good to you, but then I'll, I'll go back and see. So in the meantime, what happens is maybe you pick a good startup fit. Maybe you don't. You don't know where to get training. In our industry, you have to self-educate or you have to train yourself. You're responsible for your training, your education, making sure you're protecting your business, all of those things. So there's all these little steps and you're getting advice from people that are out on, on uh, social feeds and things, the people that you don't know if they're successful or not. Don't do that, you guys. It's such a mess to clean up. Even if you're not working with me and I'm doing whoever you work with a favor, like just do it the right way from the beginning. So getting a certification not only teaches you the skills of how to become a travel agent, but it's going to give you the confidence to book those trips, do it for clients, do it in a way that protects your business, do it in a way that feels good and you're feeling confident it. Booking trips for clients is not the same as booking trips for yourself. You might be awesome at booking trips for yourself. Guess what? You know you, right? There's a whole science of learning how to sell for other people, match them with things that they need, how to give proposals, how to close the sale, what practices need to be in place, what what insurance things should you recommend, what liability forms should you have them sign off on so you're not getting yourself in trouble. There's so much out there that needs to be in that whole workflow process of working with clients from the beginning coming to you from a marketing perspective, how you take them on the client journey of booking their trip, helping them with their trip, servicing their trip, and what you do after their trip. There's a whole arc of things that need to happen, a whole storyline, if you will, that you need to be trained on and feel comfortable comfortable with in your heart to do it at the highest level possible. And also, if you know how to do it at the highest level possible, you're going to have more success because you're gonna close more people. You're gonna be doing a good job customer service wise. You're, they're not gonna go to the next person down the street because they weren't happy with you. You're just gonna do it right from the beginning. And then the second piece of that certification process, now our certifications do include the business development part, meaning we actually help you set your business up as you go through the program. So by the time you're at the end of our program, your business is open, it's started, everything's in place. And a lot of times people are even booking vacations before they even graduate, which is why we call it a earning while learning program versus a two year certification or a two year degree where you're gonna go through a lot of theory and a lot of classes and then you know, we actually have a lot of students who go through uh, tours, get tourism degrees, and then they still come through our program because they still need that real world application and support of, okay, now let me get my business online. How do I troubleshoot? What do I do? What, how do I put all the levers in place, cross all the T's and dot all the I's and all that stuff. So getting a certification, you guys, will make you a more powerful, more confident, more profitable outfit from day one. So I really encourage that you do that. If it's us, great. If it's someone else, great. Just make sure it's someone that resonates with you. I always say, find someone who's doing exactly what you want to do, but doing it in a really big way. I can only speak to what we do at Careers on Vacation with our agency, which is we are running a multiple seven figure business. If you want to learn from me and my whole team, we would love to help you with that. So go over and visit us if you'd like to at careersonvacation.com. You can learn all about our 12 week certification program that can help you learn how to become a travel agent. Not only do you get amazing state of the art training, all everything that you need to learn how to become a travel agent, but we're gonna give you that on the job training as you set up your agency as well. You get to work with my entire amazing team. These are my coaches, my instructors, my mentors that are going to work with you on growing your business. And we are so proud to have the most video case studies in the entire industry and our program is also ASTA affiliated. That is also a big deal in the travel industry. So check that out as well. You can visit us over at cruiseonvacation.com slash ready now if you want to apply for the program. And I recommend that you do because our classes are selling out. We are waitlisted for dates already into 2023. So please get in there earlier. We are the one of the most popular certification programs in the industry. And we just won five Magellan Awards from Travel Weekly. Uh, we just got notified of that in the last couple 
couple months. So we're celebrating those and those awards were based on our amazing curriculum that we train for new and experienced travel agents. So go check those out. But guys, happy holidays. I'm so glad that you tuned in for this video. I hope you got some clarity on the steps to take to get clear on becoming a travel agent in 2023. No matter where you are in your journey, I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.